Méfiez-vous du rêve de l'autre. Ne soyez jamais pris dans le rêve de l'autre. J'ai fait un rêve atroce. Um, in fact, Nocturama, um, she was like, I don't know, maybe um, 12, 13, 14. And I dedicated the film to her because in fact it was dedicated to um, a kind of youth. Um, <coughs> then, <coughs> during the first um, uh, confinement, um, I did a short movie um, for uh, Prada Foundation, uh, which was um, a letter to my daughter. In fact, that is the beginning of this film. And um, I had a lot of good feedbacks on that short movie. And um, <coughs> I decided to, 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 to push it and to, to go forward the letter and to, to try to, to imagine what could be in the head of an um, 18 years old um, girl today in 21 to 22 um, in these special um, circumstances, not only uh, pandemia, but the rest of the world, you know, when you're 18, just you go out of the house and life starts. And so I liked the idea of you know, going into um, her head and imagine the feelings, the nightmares, the dreams, or stuff like that. Que ce soit la retranscription de votre pensée ou l'hypnose, dans les deux cas, vous n'êtes pas libre de vos choix. D'ailleurs, la plupart des gens qui ont acheté un révélateur n'en font plus. Parmi eux, il y en a même qui sont frappés d'un syndrome de catatonie. Ils regardent vaguement ce qu'il se passe autour d'eux, mais ne sont plus vraiment dans le monde qui les entoure. Ils peuvent, mais ne veulent plus. I guess it's my idea of her imagination. Uh, I didn't ask her, um, but um, there is this sentence of Gilles Deleuze. This is quite early in the film, and says, uh, uh, "Never go inside the dreams of someone, even if it's a nice young girl." Méfiez-vous des rêves des autres, même si c'est une jeune fille. And for me, when I got this sentence, I got the film in a way, you know, because it allowed me to, to, to create many, many different worlds with many different textures. It's a very hybrid film. Uh, you have some uh, fun footage, you have some uh, real um, uh, images, some um, animation 2D, 3D. And, you know, it was, I created this character of Patricia Coma, the uh, um, YouTube uh, girl, and uh, it allowed me, like, a lot, a lot of freedom. Uh, it opened everything. The film is, in fact, it's a girl on her bed. And um, like if she was on a boat in the middle of the sea. And then you open with many, many, many different worlds. In fact, I was um, supposed to shoot like a bigger film that was postponed because of pandemia. And I I thought I cannot not do anything for a year and I, I wanted to do a film very quickly, very free, um, not to ask some money, not to make files for commissions and stuff like that. So I invented some, a lot of you know, um, situations that allowed me to do the film uh, with not a lot of money but quick and free. And I think I, we were really locked down, you know, so I think I needed the freedom we didn't have. I needed artistically the freedom we didn't have. But um, the subject is not pandemia at all. It's just, you know, yeah. If I haven't seen the film for a few months, but if I, I saw the film today with uh, what's happening in, in Ukraine, what's happening, you know, it's everything rings a bell of Euro 18. What is the world we're giving to you, leaving to you? And uh, it's not a dark film. I mean, it's not um, full of light. But what I'm trying to say is uh, to this generation is, okay, uh, it's not going to be easy, but we trust you. We trust you to, to, to make things change. That was the uh, only light I could, I could find. And I tried to, 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 to say some dark things with humor, uh, which I've never done that much before. Je crois que j'aimerais bien avoir enfin une histoire d'amour que personne ne juge, dont personne ne parle que personne ne voit. Le regard des autres est trop toxique. Ouais, je comprends. Mais tu sais, je sais pas si c'est possible. In fact, I, 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 I did that because I met a, a young guy that had a studio, an animation studio. And if I had, didn't meet the guy, I wouldn't go into animation, something very far from uh, what I really know. And uh, um, 
I was trying to have some um, uh, different worlds easy to shoot because we didn't have a lot of money. So shooting some dolls, you know, and put some dialogues after that was very easy. Then I gave the sequences to them and they worked for like months and months. But um, uh, it's when I told you previously about the freedom I needed, this is part of the freedom I, I, I really wanted. En fait, il faudrait une histoire d'amour que personne ne juge, même pas moi. Let's say I, I, I did three films in a row about y y young people, to be, to be quick. Nocturama, Zombie Child, and, and this one. Um, they're very different, but I felt, I felt I, something was missing uh, after Zombie Child um, about this kind of age. Now I'm finished with that, I'm going to do something else. But to be more um, inside the head of someone, more mental, and to, to be more... Um, uh, to say things more simply, uh, first degree. Um, of course, I'm talking to a young girl, but I, I hope I'm talking to a lot of people, you know, uh, with, with that. And um, I could allow myself with the letters, with um, the, uh, the dolls, you know, to say things first degree that, is, that are difficult to say in a classical feature. Um, yes, and... After Saint Laurent, we became very close, and in fact, when he died, we were preparing a film together. Uh, we were supposed to shoot in April, uh, so we were fully in the prep. So, beside this aspect, of course, the um, the death was so brutal and uh, unreal, and still it is for me. Um, so the last thing he did was this voice, and uh, the last time I saw, he, I saw him was in, in the, uh, we did a screening for the crew and we went to see the film. And <clears throat> when I uh, was watching the film in Berlin, of course, the, uh, the voice in the theater is like a you know, ghost. It's very moving for me. And, uh, uh, but it's kind of destiny, you know, it's uh, no no other words to, to say about that. But hearing his voice in the theater was like um, very emotional. And the film talks a lot about death, dead people, um, what do you do with loss, and uh, some sequences are between life and death in the limbos, and just to hear Gaspar, I mean, it's, yes. Usually when uh, like uh, a director grown up do a film about uh, young people, coming, what we say coming of age. It's a lot about um, love story and how love arrives, relationship with um, body, sex and stuff like that. I didn't do that at all. Uh, Nocturama was very, very political. Um, it's how lost could, can be like this generation in the um, capitalist world we, we, we live uh, to them. Zombie Child was much more about the past of France, colonialism, and this one is much more intimate and about present time. So they're, it's like a puzzle, but they're very different. But um, um, what I can see now they are done, it's, it's, it's a trilogy about youth, but it's a political trilogy about youth, much more than usual coming to age uh, films. Um, yes, it's uh, one I was supposed to do with Gaspar uh, now in April. It's postponed to the end of August. Um, we're going back to prep slowly. Uh, but it's a much bigger film. It's a melodrama uh, set on three periods, um, kind of <coughs> uh, mixing melodrama and fantastic. Uh. What, what can we say that it has from maybe this one or this trilogy? Because there's something. Mm. The um, <coughs> Yes, the sound and um, our relationship with um, dead people and uh, alive people. I think, yeah. Il fait froid et il neige à New York. Nous avons besoin du réchauffement climatique. La France vient d'être éliminée.